Hey guys, so I want to do a Quill or Coca-Cola test here with the new uh, Pixel 2 handset from Google. This is an IP67 phone, but can it survive some soda? Uh, I got a few requests to see this, so I'm going to check it out here against some comparable handsets. Uh, we do have the iPhone 7, uh, the uh, OnePlus 5, and also the XZ1 uh, phone, the small version. Uh, so yeah, let's uh, check it out here. Just going to put them down first on the table, and then uh, we're going to crack open some uh, delicious Coca-Cola here. Uh, in fact, we're going to put the Coca-Cola to the side first, as well as a crusty old coin, and let's uh, just raise this little bit here and then we can see how things fare and I gotta say you know I'm a bit nervous because the old uh, pixel didn't have this kind of waterproofing and the OnePlus 5 well we don't even know what OnePlus has done with that phone but it'll be interesting nevertheless so three, we're going to go for about three minutes or so, three, two, one, let's go. That's the first cans. So we have started the clock here, and I make it uh, half past uh, seven, I think. Yeah, half past seven. Uh, so we're just going to keep them in here for three minutes, as I said, because we don't like to waste things here. We just want to test them. And sometimes these phones need to be tested to see what you're getting, because the Google phones aren't cheap anymore. And, uh, you know, you need to be aware of what you're getting at the end of the day. So, can't see too much uh, activity here on all of them. They all seem to be quite uh, comparable in terms of the lack of activity. Maybe that's a good thing. Who knows? Trying to flip the XC1 here, but we don't really know what's happening. So I'm just going to move the camera again a little bit so we can get a nice overhead view of what we're doing. For the love of science, this is. So you can see. Nice sparkly here. I hate it when it splashes because I don't like it getting on the carpet. It's really hard to get out of the carpet. So the screen's still on, on the Pixel. I'm getting all over the wall now, which uh, is not very good. And I think uh, we're coming up to two minutes, so one more minute and then we should see how things are. I think we're due for a new OnePlus 5 actually, OnePlus 5T is coming mid-November, so hopefully they'll you know, implement the waterproofing officially, because that is a must now on a high-end phone. So what do we have here? iPhone. We have here a uh, OnePlus 5, which I think the 3T managed this, so you know, high hopes here. And uh, we do have the Pixel, which is locked itself, unfortunately, and it's very hard to get it unlocked when it does this. That sucks. 
and uh, we do have the this one what is it XZ1 can't keep up with Sony so I think we're coming to the end now the test so we're just gonna get them all out and have a look at them you know check at the screen the speakers etc see who's the winner overall uh, so we're just gonna put them all on the table here and uh, I think the pixel is the loser because it locked itself so I can't uh, get into the OS uh, but the others seem to be nice and responsive here I'm just going to move the camera again keep moving it in this video I'm going to you know, see what we're getting uh, so in terms of the XE1 Compact here you can see very usable after a, a soak, so I look at the camera. Wow, ready to roll, nice and sharp as you can see. So very nice performance here from the XE1, uh, which uh, I think is the cheapest out of all of these. Uh, I think also we can have a look at the um, speakers here. So you can hear the speakers, they sound quite good. I don't actually think I've got the Wi-Fi on, that's the reason for that. There you go. So... A little bit muted, but they are on the front. So I rate it, you know, a good 9 out of 10 for the XE1 Compact here excellent performance overall i will keep an eye on it obviously iphone 7 very reliable here handset uh, some would say better than the iphone 8 uh, a little bit fuzzy for the camera as you can see uh, but uh, it does take the shot which is nice screen is very usable and that uh, is what we want to see gta here So we'll just get through this. Oh, I had it mute. A little bit crackly, but it does have excellent speakers. I give it 7 out of 10. Uh, the Pixel, this is the newest Google phone. Can I unlock it? Yes, I can. Very nice. And you can see, very usable. Android 8.1 already for the device. That is a good thing to have for the Pixel. Uh, so let's just try the camera here best camera on the market apparently BAM so you can see wow that is an excellent picture I mean look how crisp that is that is amazing wow yeah so I you know I gotta say it has a fantastic camera this one but then again it's not that much better than the S8 let's be honest uh, let's just see the um, what can we see here let's just see what we've got on YouTube in fact this one so a little, a little bit uh, you know fuzzy they are on the front again which is quite good with the pixel uh, 8 out of 10 Finally, we do have the OnePlus 5 here. As you can see, seems to be a little bit erratic for the screen, uh, but it is working, which is quite interesting. I didn't think it would survive this. And uh, let's see the camera. So, you know, I think it gets a bad rap, the OnePlus 5 camera, but it does the job to me. Uh, it could be better though, you know, I think they did make a massive deal out of it. Uh, so let's just see the uh, game. Do we have uh, Asphalt? I think we do. Whoops. Just locked it. Uh, this is annoying. <laughs> Can I bypass the lock? Let me get to the uh, settings here. 
There you go. You see, that's a vulnerability. Come on. That is a vulnerability. I just broke Android, I think. So, yeah. Do we have sound? Is it downloading? What's it doing? I don't know. Uh, well, it sounds a little bit... Oh, it doesn't sound too bad, actually. Oh, yeah, actually, it does sound bad. Uh, so, again, I'm going to give the OnePlus 5... You know, I'm going to give it a 7, because the screen is a little bit more erratic than the others here. Uh, but it did pretty well, given that there's no official uh, waterproofing overall. Uh, so hopefully, you know, the OnePlus 5T will come with the waterproofing and a 500 euro price mark. Uh, and uh, yeah, I will, ch you know, keep my eye on these phones just to make sure they are working as they should. Uh, hope you found the video helpful if you're looking at one of these handsets and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.